I've come across my first assignment in this course. So it gives me some instructions here. Again, I'm accessing this from the content area. I was just following, like I've been reading up and doing information and learning about this topic. And then here's my assignment. It tells me that the first thing I need to do is to download this document. So I'm going to click on that document and it's going to open up a document for me. In this case, it's a PDF document, so I might have to download it. Um, but it looks like I can also type right into this document here. To learn more about downloading PDFs and saving PDFs once they've been filled out, you might need to see somebody at your school. A great resource is your teacher librarian. Within here, once you've completed the task, so as a student, I'm going to fill this out with all of the numbers that, you know, correspond with this particular, particular task. And then once I'm done, I'm going to download that file with my changes. I'm going to save it to my downloads on my computer. And I might put my name, Audra's work. It's a good idea to even title your work with the date as well. When I come back to my course, you'll see that it gives me the option to submit my work. I'm going to click on this blue button and it's going to take me to the Dropbox. The other place where I can access the Dropbox is up here on the My Work icon. This button takes me directly to the Dropbox. So here I am in the Dropbox and it says, it asks me to submit the following, a complete worksheet. It gives me a little checklist as well. Different teachers are going to have different things here. Some of your teachers may have also included a rubric. This rubric doesn't have a lot of information on it, but hopefully your teachers are giving you a rubric with lots of detail that you can you know, give yourself a little self-assessment before handing it in. When you're ready to submit your assessment, you have the option to add a file, record audio, or record video. For some of you, it might be really worthwhile to record audio or video, especially if it's a task where the teacher has asked you directly to make a video. You don't have to necessarily do it on a phone or something like that. You can actually just click the button right here, record your video directly within the Dropbox. So that's just something that's really important to know. When you're ready to add your file, you click click add a file and I'm going to look in my computer and click upload and I had saved that work in my downloads folder so here's my PDF that I'd completed earlier I'm going to click open and I'm going to click add and when I'm all done I can see that it's attached if I need to put a little note to my teacher I can put it there and then I hit submit This now tells me that my assignment was submitted successfully. It gives me a little receipt and it tells me when I handed it in. It says I got a confirmation email and that's it. And then I can click done. In my Dropbox folder now I can see that I've submitted one time. One submission, one file. And so now my teacher will see that it's ready to be marked. You can see that all the other Dropboxes for this course are here and they show not submitted, which means I have not yet handed something in for that course. Once my teacher has marked it, I'll see my score over here.